You ever find yourself lost? Struggling? Maybe you're trying to reach a goal or maybe you're trying to do something new and you feel like, you know, things just aren't working out quite as they should. Today, we're gonna to talk about living life to a standard, not a result. What are you trying to get out of life? What's the result that you're after? What is the goal you've set? What is the vision that you have? You know, oftentimes we talk a lot about those things, vision statements and goals that are set and, and, and the way we desire to, to change or the, the types of people we want to be. And yet, sometimes we maybe prioritize the result a little bit too much. And if we don't reach the result, then we become depressed and find challenge and difficulty. But there's got to be a better way to focus our attentions, not just in trying to reach some end in mind, but part of the, the joy of life can be just walking that journey and that path. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I think the focus that we have sometimes on the results can do us a great deal of harm. I know for myself, I've missed out on opportunities to, to grow and learn because I've become so overwhelmed with what didn't go right and how I've failed and made mistakes. And sometimes I think that that's just focusing a lot on that result. And so what is the result that you're after today? What is the result in life that you're looking for? What is the end you have in mind? I think the problem is maybe we're putting too much emphasis on the end and the goal and the result and not focusing enough attention on what it is that we're doing to get there. The truth is too that you can't always control the result, can you? And so things will come up in your way. There will be obstacles, challenges in life, things that you didn't anticipate or look towards. And so what is the standard that you're living your life by? A standard, a rule of life, some people call it a creed, might be a better thing to focus on. Have you ever met somebody that took a shortcut to get the end result? They cheated. Maybe they used people in the process because the focus was on the result. And, and sometimes if we focus too much attention on the result, it doesn't much matter how we get there as long as we get there. And that cheats us of something. It cheats us in our life, in our hearts, in our relationships. It harms us. And the problem is, is that we put our desire to get to that end before we do the, the discipline that's necessary to get there. Discipline is far more important than the desire we might have to obtain something. Because at least at the end of discipline, we might find patterns in our life that are productive, not just in the goal we're trying to reach today, but in those small victories of life that we seek to find. Whether it's in parenting or your relationship with your spouse, or maybe you can apply this to your business or your friendships, or maybe it's just personal growth. Maybe it's losing weight or, or learning a, a new skill set. If we're not careful and we allow the result to become the greatest thing that we're after, we might miss the lessons that we need to learn in the process. Your standards have to be consistent. If your standard isn't consistent, it's not really a standard at all. We've all heard it said that people have double standards. People are hypocrites. People don't practice what they preach or teach. And that's a problem, is it not? But before we look at others and what they do or don't do, let's consider our own beliefs, our own actions. Because really, a standard isn't a standard unless it's consistently walked out, day in, day out. And again, that's why the discipline is so much more important than the desire to reach the end. It's so much more important to do the little steps that it takes to become successful in any particular area of our lives. I know it's easy to want to take the shortcut and escape to get there, but a standard keeps us on the path, on the right path. We excuse our own actions, our own desires, our own behaviors. And so a standard must be consistent. Do you have a standard in your life that can be applied to each and every aspect of your life? Do you have something that is greater than you, that is pulling you towards something that is for the common good and not just to serve yourself? Because certainly people do have standards in their life 
that is just about serving themselves. It can't be about in this life. If we're going to really live successful lives and really live fruitful lives, it can't be about getting the most that we can get out of it at the expense of others. In fact, that's the type of lifestyle that is lived to a result and not a standard. Is your standard something that is greater than you, that challenges you, that empowers you, that, that really challenges you to, to be more and do more than you thought that you could? Maybe in your life, the reason why you're not finding success, the reason why you're struggling is that you're lost in the woods without a map. You have no sense of direction. You have no way to get to the true north you desire. And so living by a standard will keep you safe. Setting a standard and being reminded of that standard will be of tremendous value to you. Maybe you do have a standard in your life and, and maybe you're still struggling. Then I might encourage you to rethink what your standard is because maybe the standard of life that you've set out for yourself is not something that is serving you very well. I can say with certainty that if you live your life to a standard, you are much more likely to obtain the results that you're looking after than if you focus solely on the result. Ultimately, living this type of life is not about what you want, which is the results, but about who you are. Live your life to a standard and not a result. Thanks for joining.